All right, let's talk about some life insurance and what you pay for life insurance. So to find the annual premium or the annual amount you pay for life insurance, you take the number of units you're pur purchasing and that's um, per thousand. So $75,000 to find your number of units, you take um, the amount of insurance you're purchasing and divide by a thousand. Okay, so $75,000 would be 75 units. Okay, we multiply that by the premium per thousand dollars. So that's why we divided by the thousand is because the amount they quote you is for every thousand dollars of coverage you want. So let's figure this one out. Carl Pitt's 35 years old. He wants to purchase $75,000 five-year life, five-year term life insurance policy. The premium per thousand dollars is three dollars and forty cents. What's his annual premium? Well, the first thing we have to do is take the amount that he wants to be insured for and divide by a thousand. Again, what that gives us is the number of units, that's what they call them, that he's purchasing. So 75,000 divided by a thousand is 75 units. Then we can calculate his premium. His premium is equal to the number of units, 75, times the price per unit, $3.40. Notice we didn't do anything with the five year. Okay, that doesn't have anything to do with our calculations at this point. Um, what we use that for is if they give us a chart and it tells us different rates, that's when that would come into play. But here we don't worry about it at all. We just get our answer of $255. And again, all we had to do was take the amount of coverage, divide it by 1,000, and then multiply by the premium rate that they gave us. Okay, this time we have a chart. It says Thomas Allen is 40 years old and he wants to purchase $75,000 um, five-year term life insurance. Um, what is his annual premium? So again, I told you that five-year would come into play somewhere, but here's where it comes into play. That's the, the chart that they're using to determine how much he pays. Okay, so we need to find out how many units he's buying. So again, we take the $75,000, divide it by 1,000 and he is purchasing 75 units of insurance. Now let's find his price. So he's 40 years old and he is a male, okay? So a male, 40 years old. So you wanna see where those meet up. So this is all the prices for someone who is a male. Here is the age of 40, okay? So it's $4.25, you look where those meet up. So he is paying for 75 units and he's paying $4.25 per unit. That's the number we found from our chart. And when we calculate that, we get $3,118, not 3,000. <laughs> Sorry, misread my decimal point. $318.75. I bet he would hate to have that mistake made. Okay. So again, you find the number from the chart, multiply it by the number of units that you're purchasing, and that tells you what your annual premium is, how much you pay each year to have that life insurance.